if you look at the pKa values for ethane, ethene, and ethyne, right? here's ethane with no uh, pi bonds, ethene with one double bond, and ethyne with a triple bond. First of all, you'll see that ethene is a million times more acidic. Right, there's a pKa difference of 6. Okay, I'm not even going to try to write the number for the difference in acidity for the ethyne. It is 10 to the 25th times more acidic. With a pKa of 25, it's still not a strong acid, but it's way more acidic than ethane. So, let's deprotonate each one of these and see if we can evaluate it via ARIO. So if your base comes in and does proton transfer, that sigma bond will turn into a lone pair. I'm going to do this for all of these compounds because ARIO is used to evaluate the stability of these anions. So, this is your alkanide, this is your alkenide, and this is your alkynide ion. So for all of them, the atom is carbon, there is no resonance to speak of, no induction. What it comes down to is differences in orbital. So consider the hybridization. In the alkanide, the lone pair that gives you the negative charge is in an sp3 orbital. In an alkynide, it's sp2. Sorry, alkenide is sp2, and alkynide is sp. And the reason that the orbital makes the alkynide more stable, consider the shapes of each of these orbitals. The sp3 orbital has the most p character, so those two electrons will be furthest from the nucleus whereas the sp2 orbital has less p character. And you can see the distance between the nucleus and those electrons is shorter, and it is by far the shortest for sp because it has the least p character. That shorter distance between the positive charge on the nucleus and the negative charge on the lone pair stabilizes the negative charge. Hence, there are bases strong enough to deprotonate an alkyne to make the alkynide ion, in this case, acetylide. And what base should we use? Sodium amide. Right, that's NH2 plus, or sorry, Na plus NH2 minus.